everybody. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about prices. Prices are going up. And so what's happening is a lot of sellers are looking around and they're seeing what prices are going for. And of course, their home's nicer than any of those other ones. So now they're pricing them maybe a little too high. And so, um, you know, you don't want to overprice, even though it's a very strong seller's market right now. Buyers already know they're paying a lot. And if they feel like you're trying to gouge them, you're going to turn some of them off. The whole idea is to get as many buyers as possible, right? So um, bidding wars are driving prices up over appraised values. It's not that unusual for someone to either offer to pay higher than the appraised value or to uh, get in a position where they have to negotiate to come to terms with an appraisal that didn't come in at value. And then, you know, we just went through a really unusual season here in uh, December during the holiday season where we had crazy activity and crazy multiple offers. So what should have been like a spring market, which we kind of missed, got pushed back late, um, ended up happening right in the middle of a time when it never happens. So we are facing, you know, half of us are dealing with bidding wars on a regular basis in uh, most cities. So, and in fact, most cities, most cities, in fact, Salt Lake City was the worst when it came to bidding wars. 75% of their offers were involved in bidding wars. Uh, San Diego, 74%, San Francisco, 67, on and on. So there's a lot of bidding wars out there. There's a lot of competition and the sellers see that and they think, oh, well, I'm gonna price my house really high. But they forget lenders are part of this equation too. For the most part, not always, but for the most part, and so if you can't if you can't price it and sell it at something that's going to appraise, then you have a good chance of not closing escrow, because there's nothing like a uh, a buyer who has come in full steam ahead, made a really strong offer, won the property, and then sleeps at it overnight and says, "Wow, I think I paid too much for that. I paid five thousand more than the appraised value." And, and I'm not sure I'm not having some buyer's remorse right now, because a lot of times when I buy a pair of jeans, I have buyer's remorse. I don't really, but some people do. Um, and if you think you do, if you have it buying a pair of jeans, you're certainly going to have it overpaying for a really expensive home. So um, the biggest challenges, of course, are the lack of inventory. And also, there's, this, um, there's been a challenge finding homes we like. So we have buyers out there, they're willing to pay good money. They, um, they want to move, they want to buy their own home, but they're really not finding anything they like. So that's a big issue. Um, and then we combine that with, if you do find one you like, you're losing out on multiple offers because it's so competitive, it's crazy. So then on top of that, prices are going up. So last week I was looking at, you know, one dollar houses, and today they're a dollar and five cents, and I only have a budget for a dollar, so now I'm looking at a lower quality house than I started. So that's a big issue. Um, and then one last thing is, if a buyer does overpay for a home, well, a lot of times they want a little something back. They want repairs back. They might say, look, you know, I'm paying you good money for this house. In fact, I'm paying you more than it's worth. You can at least fix this, 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 this this who knows what so anyway those are my thoughts today don't overprice your house price it properly if the buyers want to come in and be aggressive and take charge then that puts it in their hands and they have to take responsibility don't you the seller be the one that asks too much have a good one